Hello everyone, I'm Gary. I'm the owner and developer of the CSGO Trader app uh, extension. And in this video, I'm going to show you what's new in, the, in version 2.4 that I've just released. Uh, under the pricing menu, you can see three new options. Uh, Real-time pricing mode is, uh, is one that I am going to talk about now. So what's real-time pricing? Now, a lot of you have have asked before that uh, they want an option for pricing that shows the current lowest listing from the market or the starting at price and uh, to load all those prices that's not uh, technically feasible because the steam limits you how many requests you can make towards steam but uh, i made the loading uh, delayed uh, i added a delay between the requests and I'm, I'm calling it real-time pricing mode and there are basically three modes um, if you are familiar in, in the financial markets then these will be uh, familiar to you the bid price is the current uh, current highest buy order that's price the ask price asking price or ask price uh, the current lowest price or starting at price is the uh, price of the current lowest listing lowest lowest listing and the uh, mid price is the average of the two so how does it look in uh, practice now if we have this um, bayonet marble fade then uh, you can see the bid price is going to be 422 that's the uh, request to buy at so that's the highest uh, buy order price the starting at price is going to be uh, 487 and the, we can uh, calculate what the mid price is going to be by adding up the two and dividing so the mid price is going to be around 450 uh, now by default by default uh, i made the ask price the default because i think that makes uh, the most sense to people the current lowest listing uh, and I think uh, most people will stick to that, but I use mid price uh, because uh, on re more rare items it's uh, it's more conservative. It's not not that off than uh, what the asking price can be. You know, if there is just a single item on the market, then it could be really overpriced, and that's that would be the price that you're seeing. Uh, and uh, there are these two other two options. I. Uh, you should probably just ignore this. I I made them. I added the option uh, for you to change them, but um, you should probably just leave this as they are. So, how does uh, the real-time pricing look in practice? This is the incoming. Uh, this is the incoming trade offers page, and uh, I've clicked load prices here, and uh, all the prices have appeared. Now to I could do the same here, but if I open this trade offer, then the prices should be loaded automatically. Yeah, you can see st uh, the prices starting appearing. Yep. So uh, the first, uh, the other parties' items prices are loaded, then your items prices are loaded, and then it go goes on to the uh, inventory pages items, and uh, you can see the totals of uh, each side it's it's pretty simple because it's a two for one trade and uh, it's more useful for for uh, more complicated uh, trades with many many more items uh, now and there are two options that controls this behavior under trade offers there is a load real-time prices option it's default it's on uh, by default and you can see what it does here when when i opened the uh, trade offer i did not have to click anything uh, the prices just started to load and the totals were added as well now it looks uh, it works similarly or it works the same and uh, with inventories you can set this uh, on I, I have it off because uh, I have a limitation in the extension that uh, only the only one uh, page can load the prices at at a time and if I open an inventory then I would 
you know when I trade you can you probably seen me uh, do my trades I open a lot of uh, offers and inventories I prefer uh, offer prices to be loaded uh, instead of waiting for an inventory inventories prices to be loaded so yeah that's that now it's a uh, it's a pretty big feature and I'm sure there will be some issues with it that you will discover I I'm using it for a couple of days now and uh, and I think it's pretty good as I said I have the mid price option selected and uh, sometimes there is uh, no price that appears for an item and that could be because uh, if if the if there are no orders buy orders or there are not there are any there aren't any listings for the item and uh, that's the same for for the bid price if, if there is no current if there are not any orders on the market then there will be no no price on the item similarly with the current lowest listing uh, if there there is there aren't any listings then there will be no price shown to you now moving on to the other thing that many of you have asked for and that is support for uh, non csgo games for the mass listing feature and uh, i can show you that i can select uh, multiple items let's say i have some uh, team fortress keys selected i have some csgo items selected i think they are from the cheaper side of my inventory hmm that's new not sure why anyway i'm not gonna click that many times and i also have some uh, steam trading cards selected and i can just click list um, items and it's going to start listing those again it's a new thing i had to re rewrite a bunch of things to get this working with other games and uh, i'm sure there will be some issues with it but uh, hopefully not, not nothing too serious and uh, yeah, there were some other bug fixes in the update. Uh, check out the changelog if you if you were waiting for some fix, and uh, let me know if let me know how you are using the new updates. Let me know if you found issues. If you like it, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys.